Hi Diamond Friends, it's Linda from Diamonds for Linda. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. This is actually my second video that I'm making today on July 4th and this one will probably not go, um, I probably won't put this one out until Monday. So it's gonna be a little bit longer. Um, yeah, today is July 4th and I plan to put my rambling video out on the 7th. So this one, will, or maybe if I get it out on the 8th. So anyway, you'll probably see this one on the 7th or the 10th. And not that it matters to you all, but <laughs> but sometimes when I'm talking about something, I kind of want it to be like in um, order. So yeah, and today I have time to get a few videos out. Almost everybody is gone. And like I mentioned in the other video, which I guess, um, you know, for me, it's just a little while ago, but I have my, um, my Oleato Oat Latte. It's extra hot and it has a blonde espresso in it. And it's really, really good. My son brought it home for me. So, um, I just want to make sure I'm drinking that while I'm making these videos because it's nice and hot. It's kind of like if I'm sitting down having a cup of coffee with you all. So, yeah, so grab your cup of coffee or your hot tea or cold tea. And I know it's been, oh my goodness, it's been so hot. And you guys, I have something sad to tell you. We lost a chicken to the heat. Yes, I feel so bad. We have, um, we have our sprinklers going outside. Not all day, but we try to let it puddle a little bit, then turn them off and then let it puddle. But I guess it just wasn't enough for the little chicken. Well, she's not little. I think our chickens are four years old now. And it was the week where we were just have it was we were in the hundreds here in Texas and it's just been really hot and so we brought her in but it was too late by the time we found her. Um, I had thrown some food out because we're we're so funny. Um, my chickens, whenever I open the back door, they come running. It's so funny the way they look because usually I'll have something to throw out to them. Uh, they're like garbage disposals. We feed them their chicken feed of course, to make sure they're getting all their nutrients, but our leftovers we will um, throw out there. I don't, like I will give them pizza, but I don't give them a lot because you know, it has like sodium and and all that stuff. But so we do throw like a few extra slices of pizza when we have leftovers. I just hate throwing it all away. Anyway, but we do mostly feed them. I mean, they're feeding like leftover vegetables and fruit and stuff like that. So they're like little garbage disposals. I mean, if, if I tripped and fell and, and got knocked out, they'd probably like start eating me up. <laughs> but anyway, it's so funny because whenever we open the bathroom window, which is facing the yard, um, because before I didn't have a screen in the bathroom window, I know it sounds really crazy, but we didn't have a back door when we moved in this house. So I would throw, um, you know, our vegetable scraps and things like that out the back window. I know we're crazy here. And then, so now we have a back door and so we have the screen on the window now. Uh, so I can't throw anything out the bathroom window, but they remember. And so whenever I open the back bathroom window, I try to open it very quietly because otherwise they get so excited and they come running. It's so funny because, you know, they'll hear like the squeakiness of the, the window. But now it's the back door because I throw, you know, scraps. Like we had sweet potatoes and baked potatoes the other day. And normally I do eat my skin on my potatoes. Do you eat the skin on your potatoes and of sweet potatoes and baked potatoes? But this time I didn't. So I ended up throwing all in my... My family doesn't really eat all of that. So anyway, we th uh, so I was throwing that out to them and it's so funny. So yeah, so we don't feed them with things like, we don't feed them a lot of hot dogs or things like that kind of stuff. But um, yeah, so anyway, I wasn't expecting to get on that, but yeah, we lost four little chickens and I haven't, I'm just, it's a hen and it's a grown up and she's five years old already. We've had them since they were little. Uh, we, we bought them at a, Oh, I can't even remember, but it was, it was like a feed where they have like feed store, a feed store and they were the last eight there. So we said, we'll just take them because we were figuring one might be a rooster or something. Um, but we were thankful that they were all hens, all eight of them. And they've been so healthy. They are barred chickens. They're black and white. Um, if I knew how to do the editing, I would put a picture in of them. But they're black and white. They have been really hardy and sturdy. They've survived that freeze we had. Um, we did surround the chicken coop with some kind of paper that's roofing paper that we had and to help kind of keep the insulation in there. I mean, not that it's insulated, but they survived that freeze. That was when we were for a whole week. Texas was practically frozen. <laughs> 
um, they survived a lot of things. And yeah, so anyway, okay, let me get to the diamond painting. So this video is about, <laughs> I have these three diamond paintings that from Amazon, they're Diamond Art Club. Um, they're those, I think, I don't know if they're on the regular website. I haven't checked, but anyway, um, every so often I'll just grab one from Amazon because it's free shipping. You know, it comes in a few days. Not that that matters because I haven't worked on them. But um, but they're the smaller ones. And I have a lot of big ones. I haven't started like a huge one yet. And I still want to. But I'm just trying to, you know, prepare myself for that. And I hardly have any room. So, yeah. So, anyway. I got these um, smaller ones. So, I've been kind of buying a lot, of, lot more smaller diamond paintings along with those larger ones. So let me get a sip of my coffee and I will show one to you. I still want to get those two new draggling ones, but I haven't. Um, these I bought, um, when did I buy these? I know you guys probably don't care, but let me just check. I'm trying to write things down now. So I bought two in May and then I think I bought one in June, I think. Or was it even before then? Because I don't show. Oh, I bought two of them in May, for sure. And then I don't know when I got the other one. Because I'm not showing that I bought one in June. So it, it could have been before. Because I did have one that I bought a while ago. And I just haven't shared it on my channel yet. So. Um, and also, I didn't mean for my channel to become mostly of a channel of unboxings. But it seems like it has. But that will probably be slowing down soon. I know I keep saying that. But, um... I yeah so I'll talk about that in another video but anyway let's go ahead and pick one let's see which one it is oh this guy is so cute I like this one it says is it Friday yet and look at that so this is a 13 by 13 inch 33 by 33 centimeters so it's not that big I can't complete this in a day or anything can you what is the size that you all could like complete in a day the only one I've ever completed in a day was my Olaf one. And that was a partial and that was from Diamond Dots. And that was back in September of last year. And I was, I think I was home by myself. And my husband was working at our rental, the house that we used to live in that um, we had to move out because we just kind of too expensive for us and too far from where my husband works now. So, he was working over there and I was home by myself all day and I think I worked on that for like eight hours that day and that was a partial it took me eight hours so let's see let me just open this up I haven't even checked on the toolkits or anything y'all so this is a square I think I said that already but you could tell because I'm the diamond art club um, this is square right here and then around with the ground and you get a toolkit and I haven't I don't think I put these because when you get with them from Hobby Lobby or Michaels or Joann's or something like that, um, you're supposed to, your warranty and insurance, you're supposed to um, register them in 30 days. So I don't think I did that. And, but that's okay. Hopefully nothing will be wrong with the canvas. If I have missing drills, I could just find them somewhere, I guess. So this is a cute little sticker. So I'm going to keep that out because I need to put this in my my um, binder which I always forget to bring so I could share with you all I know I've I've shown it to you before but I put these in my binder so I could kind of remember what I have I still want to do that stash um, video and I think I might do it this month I'm gonna talk to my husband about it because it's uh, I they're all in the bedroom I'm, I'm trying to be a peekaloo okay so this is the toolkit I always go off on tangents when I do my videos. I go off on talking about other things because my that's how my mind is. I have so much going on in my mind and I'm trying to remember things. Let's see. Let's just pull this out. Okay, so here's the toolkit. And every toolkit will come with, with their tray, their wax. And this is a cute little heart, but the only thing about these hearts is they don't stay closed. Like when you have them in your your backpack or something, um, you get some some wax here. You got to pull back the plastic before you put your pen in there. Otherwise, you're not going to get any wax in your pen. And here's a comfort grip. 
and that goes with this and you get a single placer and this is a little stopper which I think is great although to tell you the truth I don't really use these trays too often but they're nice because of course if you don't have a tray it'll work fine and then you get I think that's a is that a three or four I can't see through here um and I, that's a four placer and I think that's a seven placer and you get your little baggies you could either kit up or kit down or use for something else and this is the little cover minder and maybe I will show you how to use that and because this is a square you do get these tweezers which are really sharp um look at they've already I think they're already coming through right here yep they came through the plastic they're really sharp so let's keep these away from the little ones so we'll put that aside and let's see I think I already have a few of these ones too but it's cute okay so let's go ahead and look at this little doggy here anything else in there I think that's it okay I save these dust bags because um, that one's gonna need to be cut because you never know when you're gonna have water or something happen and it's just kind of like extra protection for your diamond painting and I love the size of this one and oh, I didn't realize this was a partial so this one is a partial so it's a 13 by 13 and it has 28 colors and look at that isn't that so cute I haven't had a diamond art club partial before so and then you get your thank you and it has all the other information how to diamond paint it has for their Facebook group how to get 20% off when you um, download the app which I haven't done yet and here is the cute sticker sheet with the cute little dog right there is it Friday yet? How cute. When my husband used to work in at a corporate job, we were looking at, we look forward to our Fridays. Now that we don't, now that he doesn't work in the corporate world anymore, um, you know, he ends up working Saturday and sometimes even Sunday. But for some reason, we're still like, oh, it's Friday. Maybe because we do like movie night and a pizza. So this one is 28 colors and it has two ABs. Anything under 150 for Diamond Art Club is an AB which stands for Aurora Borealis and I just remembered when I talked about my last my last video I didn't explain that but basically they're those extra sparkly drills because they have like a coating on top here's your start and end date and you have your Diamond Art Club logo on top all their artwork is licensed and they have the lice the artist right here and you got your guarantee. Although I didn't register mine, so I think that's kind of void on mine. Also, if you buy these from a D stash uh, or someone bought it for you as a gift, um, the guarantee is only if you purchased it. And there's social media. This is a really cute one. So this is the color palette. And the AB is going to be the black I believe and number two so number one or oh, that's not a black that's a like a brownish color so let's see it says a one on there this is a smaller painting so hopefully oh look at two the coffee right here it's going to be ABs so hopefully I could actually find some there's some twos on his ears but where are the ones? Let's see, I'm gonna take my glasses off and see if we could find any of the ones. It is a one, right? Yeah. Let's see, oh, here it is. It's in the wording. So those are gonna be ABs. Look at that little guy just yawning. So cute. So we have that one, so let's pick another one. Let's see what it is. Oh, look at that. This one's called Valentine Spaniel by Marilyn, um, and that's the last name. 
I don't think I said the artist name on this one, but I did show it. Oh, same, same artist. I wonder if my last one is the same. So let's see, this is a 13 by 13 inches, 33 by 33 centimeters. And let's go ahead and, oh, you know what? Did I share this one with you guys? It's opened. I think I did. Well, maybe I didn't because the toolkit's in here. Gosh, I'm so bad. I, did, I was doing the same thing on my last video that I shared, my rambling video. So we won't go through the whole tool toolkit, but let's go ahead and see what cover minder and washi tape we got. Look how nicely all this came out. This one's going to come with a pink pen. And here's the washi tape. So what I do, um, now that I have so many tweezers and so many, this is actually a round, so there's not going to be a tweezers in this one. Ooh, look at this heart. I like this one. Is what I do is I actually give the trays away although i might keep this one because i do need a few trays for my uh when where i put my when i de-kit i need some trays to hold up the the dmc cards right now because i don't have a whole lot of extra drills and i am having trouble getting that in here but um so i might save these trays for that but what i do is i i get these i give the baggies away i i have like three or four of these that i kept but i don't think and i have not used them before so I give the baggies away. I keep the multi-placers and I give the comfort grip. I take, the, with the pen, I take the single placer off and I am just saving them so I could give those away to somebody. And these I am, I put away in the giveaway box as well. I have so many waxes that I don't need any right now. But I do keep the cover minder, the washi tape, and the multi-placers. So what do y'all do with all your extras? Do you keep them? Do you give them away? I gave um, my friend some of the trays last time. And so she was happy to take those. But a lot of them are given to the thrift store along with all these baggies. My son did take a lot of the wax for other things. But anyway, I just thought I would throw that out there. Because I'm wondering, what do you all do with all with the... Um, with the toolkit stuff. I'm just gonna go ahead and that one went nicely. Okay, so this one this is gonna be a lot of pretty colors. Oh, you know what, I need that. Oh, you know what, I opened this one to get that sticker out. That's what happened. Let's just go like this really quick. So I'm gonna get a sip of my coffee, even though it's not Friday yet. Okay, so I think I got this one all flattened out. Oops, I kind of squished it up here. Oh, look how cute that is. I love the little cupcakes right there. And this one is has 29 colors and has one, two ABs. And this is so pretty. Look at these pinks. Oh my goodness, those are gorgeous. Very pretty colors. Very pretty colors. And we have one and two. So let's see. This is a smaller kit, so hopefully I can find these pretty quickly. So let's see. One and two. With these smaller kits, I usually don't kit these ones up in my Elizabeth Ward um, containers. Because uh, since they don't have that many colors, they actually kind of fit nicely in those small suitcase ones. Like, like I have this one. I don't know how many are in here. I think this one fits 30, if, but um, I need to double check on that. I have that one, and then I have some of those. Um, I have some other smaller containers. And there's actually one on Etsy that I'm thinking about getting for my smaller kits. Um, it comes like with a tray. Oh, that's interesting. I, if I get it, I'll, I'll share it with you. If not, maybe I will at least put the link down below so you can see which one I'm talking about. But it comes with a tray, and of course it's bigger than this. And on the end of the tray, it has like a container 
and that's where your drills are in and you could so you just put the container on there open it up and you can go ahead and shake your drills and then when you're done you just put them back in the container i was thinking of maybe getting um a set of those for smaller kits but i'm not sure yet but it's not i was interested in that but i'd have to not get a diamond painting this month if i want to order that so i'm not sure we'll see okay back to the diamond painting so here's two so this is going to be ab's right here on these little hearts and the one is there's some ab's right here on the nose on the eyes so here's those ab's that's going to be on the nose and the eyes so that's cute okay now this other one because i know which one's last now this one is so cute uh it took me a little while to get this one and it was actually i think it went out of stock and so when it went back in stock i said oh, i'm just gonna snag it because it is so cute oh my goodness wait till you see this wait till you see this oh my goodness is that not cute or what look at that face and you guys nothing against cats i'm not a big cat person but i do think they are adorable and my sister and my dad have a cat and, and you know they're cute i just i just not a big cat person myself but but they are cute so let me just kind of open this up i don't know if i'd want to own a cat at least not right now i, I um but if you have cats i think they're just adorable and i'm happy for you all who have cats it's just not something that I'm just not a cat person, but they are cute. Like I do have another diamond painting from Oraloa coming and uh, it might, by the time I put up this video, it might be here. And it's a cat, it has some cats on it and it's so cute. Okay, so here's the tool kit. And there it is. This one is, this is by Lowell Herrero. This is a round and it's a 17 by 13 inch, 43 by 35, 30, 43 by 33 centimeters. Oh my goodness, this cat is just so cute. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at the tool kit real quick. Again, we're, we'll just look at the washi tape and the cover minder. Let's see if I can... Oops, I think it's going this way. Oh, look at a brown one. That's a pretty color. I like the color brown. Okay, it's one that I do have, but it's so adorable. And this is pretty. This is like some trees. And I think I actually have this one. That's cute. Okay, so let's go ahead and just put that all back. I actually like that like reddish brown. Okay, so let's just move that to the side. Okay, so is this one going to be easier? Yeah, I like when it's easier to open since I put these back in their bags. So I still want to get the two little draglings. Oh my goodness, this is so cute. And there is another one, which I can't remember. There still are a few that I would like to get of these smaller ones. I got to start working on some of my bigger ones. I wanted to work on the 4th of July from Craftably this um, July, but I just got to get through some of my whips too. Maybe next year I'll do better. Okay. Look at this, it's so cute. So let's see, let's look at the sticker sheet. Where did I put the sticker sheet? Oh, here it is. Okay, oh my goodness, is that not cute or what? Hugo, I don't know how to say that. Isn't that cute? <laughs> That's so funny, it just cracked me up. So this one has three ABs. Um, let's see, we have one, two, and three. And I love this color, color palette. I like those blues. And here are some of the ABs. Here's some ABs right here. Let's see if I, and right here. So very pretty. Okay, so let's see where some of those are. So we're looking for one, two, and three. Here's some threes in the, like the fur. And some three up here. Let's 
Where are they? And two, one is going to be an orangish color and two is going to be like a mustard, mustardy color. So two is, are in the eyes right here. And here's some more threes. Where are those ones? Let's see. What are the ones? It's kind of like an orange color. Let me take my glasses off. I would think it would be somewhere in the ear. That's where a lot of orange is. I'm not seeing any ones there, are you? Oh, there's some ones on the butterfly. And I'm not really seeing any more ones. Maybe it's just in the butterfly. Since this bag is, is this the one that goes to it? Nope, that's Friday. Here it is. Let's see. I don't have to do too much crinkling for you all. I don't really want to take them all out, but I was wondering. Maybe it's not that much. So there's some ABs. I think that's number two. That's what's going to be in the eyes. And then for some reason I was thinking that was an AB. So this is going to be three. This is what's kind of sprinkled on the fur. And then the two, oh no, the one. Let's see. I don't, is that fit in there? Okay. Let me see what number it is. Let's see, it's gonna be 132. I don't think there's going to be much of it. Wow. Oh, here it is. I believe this is it right here. So there's not too much. Can you see that? So maybe it is just on the butterfly because I didn't see any other place where the ones are. So yeah, so that's it. Okay, that is all I have for you. Thank you for listening. Uh, so if you're here toward the to the end, um, put either a cat or a butterfly um, emoji or whatever you call those things. Because, uh, yeah, it's so cute. So yeah, I would really appreciate it. Because I really do appreciate, appreciate you all who stick with me to the end. I know I kind of ramble and kind of go off because something just comes to my mind. And I'm like, oh, and then I start talking about that. <laughs> but... Um, yeah, so anyway, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe if you did like this video and if you're still here. Um, my channel's mostly lately been unboxings because those are just easier for me to, to make. I don't do, I don't really have, um, there's just someone always here for like to do whipping chats. Or um, I try to do a few kitting ups. Um, I have kitted up a few times on my channel. And maybe when I hit up these like smaller ones, I could do another one. But um, yeah, so let me know if you've also shopped from Amazon buying some of the Diamond Art Club. And remember to live a life filled with color because it's so much prettier that way. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.